A man accused of beating his five-year-old stepson to death and dumping his body in a river claims he woke up to find the boy lifeless in bed, a court has. Logan Mwangi, also known as Logan Williamson, was found in the River Ogmore in Pandy Park, Bridgend, on July 31, 2021, a few hundred meters from his family. He had suffered catastrophic injuries, including a large tear to his liver, another to his small bowel, extensive bruising and a bleed on the brain. Logan's mother Ingharid Williamson, 30, his stepfather John Cole, and a 14-year-old boy, who cannot legally be identified, are on trial at Cardiff Crown. Court Accused of Murder On Wednesday, the jury was read transcripts from Cole's police interviews in which he admitted being rough with Logan, but denied causing his fatal injuries. Ingharid Williamson and her partner, John Cole in the dock at Cardiff Crown Court, Image, PA. He claimed Logan had been a nightmare and would often throw himself on the floor. He admitted throwing Logan on the bed in frustration and slapping him on the back of the head. But he said he woke on the morning of July 31st hearing Williamson shouting Logan's dead, Logan's dead, jurors heard. Cole said in a statement, I came running through, he was lying on his back with his head to the side and up in a weird position, his legs half cocked at the his eyes were wide open, I moved his head and it flopped. The defendant claimed he performed CPR for between 10 and 15 minutes, but accepted he had not called 999. It was put to Cole in interview that Logan had no injuries to his ribcage consistent with emergency resuscitation, but he insisted he had done so, the court heard. The River Ogmore, close to where Logan Mwangi's body was found, image, PA. Cole claimed he and Williamson had panicked and decided to dump Logan's body in the river rather than call police. He said he picked a spot near where he and the teenage defendant had been fly-tipping rubbish a few days earlier. Cole denied beating Logan to death when it was put to him. Earlier, the jury heard a statement from Sarah Jones, an offender manager at Hump Cardiff, where Cole was detained. She described an occasion in August 2021 when allegedly Cole seemed to blame the killing on the 14-year-old who is also on trial. Ms. Jones said Cole told her, without prompting, the thing is I didn't kill Logan. I've got a moral dilemma, do I go down for murder and protect the 14-year-old? Ms. Jones said, I don't remember the exact wording but he definitely intimated the youth defendant was directly involved. Several support workers involved with the teenager after Logan's death said he alternated between hostility and using a baby voice if he thought it would get him out of. Ingharid Williamson and her fiancé Jay Cole, the mother and stepfather of Logan, Image, Rex, Shuttershock. 1. Julie Rollins recalled the 14-year-old singing I Love Kids, IF asterisk 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 ing love kids, I love to punch kids in the head, it's orgasmic one evening when he had been told to go to bed. She said the youth had repeatedly sung those words to no particular melody as if he wanted us to know what he was singing about. Other members of staff reported the youth saying I've done some bad stuff and hinting that he planned to plead guilty. When Ms. Rollins asked if he wanted to speak to someone in confidence, the 14-year-old told her, if you knew what was going on in my head, trust me, you don't want to know. Williamson and the youth deny murder and perverting the course of justice. Cole denies murder but admits perverting the course of justice. Cole and Williamson are also charged with causing or allowing the death of a child. The trial continues.